This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. I was thinking about this today. And we have such a an interesting uh, sports landscape here in South Florida. Um, I don't know if we want to call it interesting, Sean. Maybe we want to call it awkward, disgusting, gross, irresponsible. Um, there's a lot of you know crap going on. So I sat back and thought about it. Let's let's go over the calendar year, ladies and gentlemen. So we have uh, a soccer team that gets fined the highest fine in NHL history and uh, basically is caught cheating when you are only allowed three DPs. They had five. So they uh, manipulated and, uh, you know, got caught cheating. Okay? So they were cheating. All right? Now we have a football team that wants to trade for a alleged sexual predator. And what we don't know if he is or he isn't, but the fact that you're willing to trade for somebody that is criminally investigated and has 22 civil complaints against, and yet you allow yourself to be even associated with him is pretty disturbing. And now we have a hockey team that knew their coach was part of a sexual abuse cover-up and yet still allowed him to be on the bench for a game when they knew he was meeting the commissioner. They had all the evidence they saw the interview from Mr. Beach, and yet you left them there, which was a very poor decision by the Florida Panthers. And eventually, the league did what they were supposed to do, which is what we talked about with David Dwork yesterday. I didn't think he would survive this. Why would you survive? You pulled a paterno. So, you know, let's just... Overall, look at the decisions that our local professional teams are making and their lack of awareness and their decisions to, you know, either cheat, deceive, or be associated with things that are absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I give the Marlins credit at least. I live. I give the Heat credit. They're not involved in in any of this kind of stuff. But damn, dude, the other three teams this year. And look, I, I don't want to like completely trash the Panthers because, in a way, they have nothing to do with what went on. But they had one decision to make. One, and that night they should have never left Q coach after all that went on you have to tell the man hey Q you know we we support you and all that but at the moment we we cannot publicly put you out there on the ice to coach that game tonight you got a meeting with the commissioner we've got a we've got a you know and then they knew that they were guilty that's why they had Zito address the media after the game so that was a screw up so it's the it's the least of the three screw ups that are out there from these teams, but it, it's it's weird how in town, and uh, I'll give Leon Fresco a little love because he uh, he he mentioned it to me yesterday. It's weird how one team is trying to associate themselves with a sexual predator, uh, uh, an alleged sexual predator, and then the other has you know has to get rid of a of a coach because he covered up a sexual predator. It's just weird, man. What a weird, weird, what a weird year. What a weird situation for a lot of our teams here in South Florida and some really bad decisions by these teams, by these franchises. 
who are there to represent the community. Uh, you've got a lot of kids that watch these games, that watch these players, that that root for these teams. These aren't the decisions that you want to stand by. These aren't the decisions you want to represent your franchise with. Uh, kudos to the Miami Herald, by the way. They wrote a scathing editorial today uh, to the Miami Dolphins because the Miami Dolphins need to be thoroughly criticized for everything that's going on in the Deshaun Watson situation. The fact that they have associated themselves with a guy that that could be a sexual predator uh, and and not wait till everything clears to find out, okay, now we're, you know, the Broncos, they said we're not we're not interested because of all the allegations. And that's what the Dolphins should have said and should be saying. No, we're not interested. We need to know whether he is innocent or guilty. Right now, we don't want to be associated with this situation right now. But because they're so desperate, they're willing to do it. This is the Big O Show.